Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how to create and export subtitles inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. So in order to create a subtitle track, you need to go to your timeline. I'm on the edit page. In the area above video one, right click, and then there'll be an option to choose add subtitle track. So choose that and you'll have one subtitle track created. Of course, if you need multiple subtitle tracks, possibly for different languages, you can right click and add more like so and then just click on the name of each of them and rename each of them to the language that you're going to be subtitling for. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to find the moment where you want to add a subtitle. So just take this timeline cursor and navigate to the exact moment you want a subtitle to appear. Then when you have the moment selected, go to the inspector under video, there should be a category here called caption. So choose create caption, and that will create your first subtitle right at that moment in time. You can also navigate to the point in the timeline you want, right click a little bit off center and then choose add subtitle and one will be created there in the same way. So when you have a subtitle caption created, you can click on each of them in order to edit the text. So you can change it to whatever you want. You might just type the line that a character is trying to say, or if we go back to this first one, you might put the name of the character and then the text and you could style that pretty much however you want. So. As long as it's a text character, it'll work. So if you wanna put square brackets around the character name, that works. So while we're here, you may notice that there's this checkbox for use track style. If we turn that off, you'll see that there are individual caption settings you can set for each caption on your track. If we have use track style selected, then it's gonna use whatever information we have over on this style area. Now note this is track by track. So if you have one for your subtitles one track, that can be different than your subtitles two track style. So here you can select a lot of settings like the font, the size, the color of your font, and the position on the screen. But I do wanna warn you in advance that most of these settings for subtitles, the style, is not going to actually work when you export unless you choose to burn the subtitles into the video, as in the video is unable to be watched without the subtitles because it's part of the video, it's actually physically in the image. So your other two options for exporting the subtitles later are to embed it in the video, where it's a subtitle track you can turn on and off, but you don't have a separate file, or you can have it as a separate file, either .srt or .vtt as common formats that work on the web. But from what I've seen, those are only really gonna allow you to set your font color, and that's about it. So if you do want these advanced styling options, you may just have to burn it into the video itself. So putting that aside, you basically would edit your subtitle mostly like a clip. So if you want to expand the duration, you can either click over here on the captions and then set the in out times, or you can use tools like the selection tool, left click on the edge of a clip and just drag it to whatever duration you want. So a subtitle, by default, I think it's about three seconds, exactly three seconds, but you can have it be any duration you want. So if you have a really long message, let's go ahead and create one right here, right click, add subtitle. And uh, let's say this is a really long message. And then I'll just copy paste, duplicate this a few times. So enough information, you'd probably want more time to read. Then at this point, you might make it like a seven second long subtitle. So uh, of course you'd have to just kind of play things back a little bit and see if the timing matches up with the dialogue and if it's on the screen too short of a time to read or too long of a time to read. And that'll mostly just be a trial and error process. So when you get to the end, you've created all of your subtitles. There's a few ways to actually export them. One is as a individual subtitle file, no video export required. And then the other is you export it with your video. And that's where you can either burn it, you can embed it in the video where it's toggleable on and off, or it will be exported as a separate file, but exported at the same time as the video. So let's go to the deliver page and we'll work on exporting our video with the subtitles. So make sure you're on the custom tab. And if we scroll down on video, you'll see export video. And then down here, there'll be this expandable category called subtitle settings. So before you export your video, you'll definitely want to expand this and check export subtitle. And then in this format, you have the three options I choose about burn into video where you can't watch it without watching the subtitles embed captions, which is where you can toggle them on and off and you don't need a separate file. And then as a separate file, where if you actually want to watch with the subtitles, you have to bring in that file or upload that file into the video site where it's going to be played. So we can choose which subtitles do we want included in the export. So you can check one or both of them. 
then we just need to give it a file name and a location. So I'll just call it video one on my desktop. Everything else will just leave as the defaults. And what do you add to render queue? And so now we export the video and it's going to export it with the subtitle checks because I'm in as a separate file as the format. So if I open up my desktop, you can see these SRT files. You can also choose other formats, web VTT, uh, very similar to SRT. And, and these two are very compatible with the web. I'm actually not personally familiar with these other options. SRT is uh, what YouTube uses as far as I've recently checked. So those are your options. Now, if you want to bring an SRT file in to watch a video, well, let's open up VLC Media Player. So to bring in the subtitles, and not every video player can actually do this, we would go to Add Subtitle File from the Subtitles menu, select the one we want to include, and now in Subtitle, Subtitle Track, we'd make sure that's there, and we'd be able to watch it with the video. Okay, so now to just briefly show the difference, I will change a bunch of settings in the subtitle. So at this point, it's very customized. So if we wanted to have that, we would have to use burn into video when we export our video with subtitles. So I, I will just replace this this time. You can see it's in the video this time. So this time, if we watch the video, we get all of the formatting. It's exactly in the place we want it, but we literally cannot turn it off. If I go to subtitles, you'll see there's no subtitles menu because it's not a subtitle file. It's not text. It's actually in the video. OK, so the last thing, if you want to export subtitles without exporting the video, which is very possible, maybe the video is already completely finished. Well, you can't just uncheck export video here because that won't allow you to export. Instead, what you do is you go to the edit tab. And then you go up to the file menu and you choose export subtitle. And then now this will just allow you to export your track to a subtitle file immediately. So you can see it's uh, exporting the selected track English. So let's just do save there. And yeah, I'll overwrite that. From what I can tell, this menu option is going to just keep defaulting to your subtitle one track. So if you specifically want to export, say, subtitle track two, then you can right click on it and choose export subtitle. So now it's going to give us our Spanish subtitles. I'll go ahead and save that. And of course, we can right click on the subtitle track one and do export subtitle there as well. So that is a pretty convenient option when all you want is the SRT file. And of course, if you do want to change the format when you're exporting, just change it to VTT or .SRT. Note that it's only these two formats, SRT and VTT, that you can export without uh, exporting the video at the same time. The other options, from what I've seen, are only actually on the Deliver tab. So if you did separate file and then you wanted these other formats for some reason, uh, as far as I know, you can only do that when you're exporting, rendering your video. So the last thing I want to show is if you open up your subtitle files in a text editor, what do they actually look like? So you can see the text here, the timestamps where they should appear, and a few formatting options like making it bold or changing the font color works. But things like drop shadow are not going to show up here at all. So don't expect them to have all that formatting when you upload everything to the web. Oftentimes, those things would be more controlled by the web player if you're watching YouTube or that kind of thing. Uh, each viewer would customize it for themselves. So that's pretty much it for subtitles inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I've been Chris, and I will see all of you in my future video content.